you're never gonna make it You're not good enough, there's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro, don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they block in your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power as long as you're driven there's no way that you make it And maybe you can fake it But you're never gonna make it Aren't you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back Don't tell me you believe that Aren't you just gonna take that? Or will you fucking fight back? Hey guys, it's Jojo 93. We gotta talk about The Flash, episode 12 of season 8, titled Death Rises. Holy shit, guys. This episode was incredible. Probably one of my favorite Flash episodes in probably the last several years of the show. Like, this season has kind of like, it's been good. There's been moments of weird acting sometimes, but Grant has always been consistent. There's been cool, cool things. Uh, Eric Wallace has given us some really good storylines this season. I loved Armageddon. I liked some of the middle. The build-up to the murderous storyline was great. And this episode was literally a horror movie, roller coaster of emotions, crazy acting, crazy stuff. First, let's talk about what made this episode so great. Alright, so Deathstorm, guys. This is the second episode after he's been introduced, and he's basically um, a dead demon connected from the Green Lantern comics as like the Blue Lantern Corps, right? But he is now, basically like we know, he's from space, but he also makes himself a member. He merges with Ronnie's dead body to kind of drag, um, to, to drag Caitlyn out. And then he takes Caitlyn from Star Labs so that Caitlyn can become his bride and he wants to transform her, but she's not ready yet. So we get this whole monologue, backstory and story and everything. But the best thing in this entire damn episode, guys, is a moment of craziness. So we get crazy cameos. We have um, Eddie Thawne showing up to talk to Still Force Iris. Very good emotional scenes between Iris and Barry in this episode. Loved it all. Sue's pretty charming in this episode. I loved it all. And then you get to see Allegra do, talk, talking to Esperanza, but it's really Deathstorm. So Deathstorm takes Caitlyn, and Barry asks Chester if he can, um, if he's able to basically run on his own lightning. Right? So he starts seeing basically um, Deathstorm flying, flying at his own slate with Caitlyn. And, and, and Ch uh, Chester says, you're not going to do what I think you're going to do, are you? And he's like, yeah. And then, fucking ride the lightning from Metallica plays, dude. He's fucking crazy, man. And then she's just fucking ride the lightning. Holy shit, guys. This episode was amazing. I'm gonna give this episode of The Flash a 9.6 out of 10. I loved it. Can't wait for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't tell me you believe that. Aren't you just gonna take that? Or will you fucking fight back? Go ahead! Send it to the internet!